What are you up to today, Jordy, you ask? Well, I'm at Home Depot getting some wood for some uh, more Christmas trees. But that's okay, I'm not buying it. I'm using the gift card I won, $50 gift card I won on the Dremel Maker Studio. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's get back to the fort. Okay guys, so here I am at the back at the Grand Fort. This is a 12 inch spruce wood. I believe this is uh, three feet. Okay. I'm gonna make another more Christmas trees. I got four of them. I think I paid 36 bucks for this board. 12 inch spruce by, well they say 12 by two, but it's only like one and a half, okay. 12 by two. I think this is close to, yeah, I think it's three feet. So one, two, three, four. So I'm such a, I'm such a bloody freak. I got to make more Christmas trees. I can't keep up with my other ones, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try mixing it up, guys. Like so, you can see I've done all sorts of Christmas trees. Well, challenge yourself and do a new kind, okay? So I got my little 193 here, rear handle, with a little pruning pruning bar you guys when you're using a chainsaw safety boots chaps or, or pants safety uh, eyewear earplugs and uh, gloves here's my gloves okay so I'm gonna cut all these trees out real quick right now okay boom boom they're gonna be the, the kind on uh, let's see here they're gonna be the kind that are s s going with the wind and then I'm gonna do just little undercuts here nothing too deep because I'm gonna do this like my wood spirit, guys. What's that name? I can't think of the name. Sho fo do yo sang dung Japanese word. Okay, so I'm calling it burning the wood Christmas tree. Okay, so I'm gonna cut out this with my chainsaw on an angle. You guys can use a handsaw if you don't have a chainsaw. You can use a bandsaw. You can use whatever you want. So you can make the trees straight too, but I like mine blowing over the wind, kind of like uh, Grinch style trees. So these ones are gonna be cut. They're gonna be burnt like crazy. Okay, and then they're gonna be um, dyed. I got green dye, I'm gonna do that at home. So cut, burnt, sanded, green dye, and uh, Christmas lights, okay. So yeah, just let me get on with it. I'm not gonna show you me carving. I'll block it out and I'll show you. Okay, so here's a tree. Okay, I'm not gonna do any lines or anything on this. I'm just gonna burn it. I hate making these things. So this is loose, but whatever. Hot glue or a screw in the back will make it tight. So no biggie. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh, here's a flower pot I'm, I'm doing out of yellow cedar. It was just a hollow log I found on the beach. And I'll burn this too and sand it. So yeah, I got three more to do. Okay, so there's my four trees cut out. I'd say that's about, took me about an hour to cut these out with a chainsaw, hour and a half. I hate cutting these bottoms. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna friggin' torch the hell out of this tree, okay? Not the, not the, um, not the, ah, frig the, the stump. I'm not going to burn the stump too much because that's going to stay burnt color, okay? And when you burn this too much, like I'm just going to burn this a little bit, and that's going to stay burnt color. When you burn this too much, when wood dries, it shrinks. So these cracks will shrink and they'll be even looser than they already are because I suck cutting at the bottoms. So I'm going to burn the hell out of this so it's a hot glow amber, okay? So these things are smoking red. 
and uh, then I got to do it all on all of them and uh, these things are three feet tall guys and then I think they're three feet I'll measure in a bit but anyways then I got to burn them now and then I'm gonna sand them I'm just gonna do it my way guys and I'm gonna use this uh, flap sander emery cloth this is real fine grit I think this is 120 grit and that's gonna be good enough okay so on with the games Okay, watch those hot embers. See them heat up? That's how far I'm burning it. Even deeper. Especially on the edges when it's square for my chainsaw cuts. I want to remove all my chainsaw cuts. Look at those amber, hot embers. Ooh, this is hot. See them? Good. You guys watch these embers when I go over and how fast they heat up. You can see. See them? That's charred, my friends. That is charred. Okay, guys. So I got the first one cooked pretty good. You can see the chars in here. I don't know if that's what you call it, charcoal or whatever. And what's burning ambers. This is the way I'm doing it, guys. I don't, I don't know how anybody else does it, but this is how I'm doing it. So you guys also, when I, when I was doing this, I had my water bottle in case it's a, uh, like little fire. This is burning away all your detail. I just hit it with the water bottle, a little shot. And guys, fire extinguisher. I always have the fire extinguisher on hand. Yep, you gotta do your safety. Okay, which one to burn next? I got, they're all kind of different styles. I think I'm gonna burn this sucker next. The nice straight grain. I don't care how uneven the burn is either. I don't care. Okay, guys, so that's all the trees burnt. You can see those coals on there now, right? Scraping them off. One, two, three and four okay so what I'm gonna do now some guys use a wire brush I don't think I have one here like a barbecue brush or a nylon brush but I'm just gonna go straight at it and use my flap sander it's gonna be a messy job but we're gonna get her done with this sucker quick okay so yeah that's that's gonna be the dirty job Yep. Uh, did I say this stuff's kiln dried and spruce? Kiln dried spruce. Yeah, it's kiln dried. So I don't know how it'll work with wet wood, guys. I think if you're going to burn wet wood, I think you're, it's going to crack quite a bit. I'm lucky this stuff hasn't cracked or warped or anything. Kiln dried from the store, I guess. Whatever. Okay guys, maybe it is better to, sometimes to use the wire brush like the, how those other guys do it because, I don't know, look how dirty I am. You know? So anyways, whatever. Let's see, that's what we do here at Carbon Fusion. We get dirty. We get cut and we get dirty. So let's see these trees. Okay, so I just measured up the trees there. Two, each one is two feet, eight inches. So like guys, these stands are crappy stands I made. This is the best one. But look at this one. So all I'm gonna do later when I'm done this crap is just put a screw through here. Pre-drill it and screw it. I guess I should blow off the box too. Look. Okay, so um, let's see here. That one is my least favorite. Why? Is because when you got a straight piece of wood like this, you should have a consistent burn. Same speed, same time, everything. Because if, you, if you're burning and you slow and slow down in a certain area, that's gonna burn more. And that's what like this area is. You know, these little spots, they're just burnt more than any, any other areas. Like that. Okay, so, um, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna take these home and figure out what I wanna do with them. I still gotta drill the holes for Christmas lights too. I don't even know what kind of lights I'm gonna use. These are two feet, eight inches, if I didn't say that. That's exactly how tall they are. Two feet, eight inches. So we'll see you back at uh, the homebound. Okay, so I've had a shower. I'm all clean at the home fort. Here are the trees. Okay, you can see that they're a lot bigger than the other trees that I did, and they're a lot thicker too. So, <sighs> 
Okay, here is the dye that I uh, got. This is green. Forest green. Perfect. That's what it says, forest green. You can see it there. Anyways, I got this from Lee Valley. Lee Valley, I don't know if it's American too, but it's a Canadian like uh, woodworking, I don't know, pro shop. So I think this dye, it's powder stuff. I think this was like 17 bucks each. I got this. I got a red color, crimson or something, and I got a blue color. Just because I'm going to do a, want to do a wood spirit in uh, blue too. And I'm going to do this baby in red. Because that's my least favorite. And I'm going to make that, that tree is going to be for myself. Okay. It's going to be red with white lights. These ones will have Christmas lights, I believe. There's my bottoms. So, you know, it was a 20 minute drive to get this stuff. 25 minute drive to get this stuff. We'll say 30. 25 minutes there, 25 minutes back. And you got to deal with traffic. Traffic in British Columbia, Canada is crazy. And I hate leaving the town that I'm in or the, you know, the, I hate leaving Delta. So, but when I went, got this dye, look, this is green. Okay. But look at it in the pack. It's, it's real orange. So I don't know. But me and, I went over to Pete's house and I showed him the dye I got, dye I got. And he was like, oh, using that stuff. Well, he had like 20 packs of this stuff. Same stuff, same dye, it's powder dye that he said he'll never use. He had two colors of this green. He had two of everything. So, I don't know. I, I wanted to ask him before it went, but I didn't want to bug him because he already does enough for me. So, thanks, Pete. I really appreciate it. I don't want to repeat myself, but I really do. So, okay, guys, I'm going to mix this dye up. And what tree should we do first? Okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catcha. What is it? Oh, no. Can't say that. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catcha, piglet by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, so we're going to be doing this one. Okay, so I got the bottom taped off here. Yeah, because I'm a, I'm a pig style, okay? And I get green all over here. So let's see how, I don't know how, because this is such a big tree. Oh, look at that. Action. Oh yeah, I better put my gloves on. So guys, I don't know. This is my second time using the dye. So I'm just putting it on. And tell you the truth, I told Pete if this doesn't work, I'm gonna friggin' snap. This little, these trees are a lot of work. Well, it was just a dirty job. And my drill holes aren't the best either. Maybe I was using a dull drill, but guess what? I don't care. Okay, so let's, um, Get this dye, and I got these these foam ones. These are actually from Home Depot. These are better than the dollar store ones. And here's the green dye. And here's a rag. Okay, game on, kids. Game on. Ah, where should I start? This is okay. So I'm just doing it. I've had enough of this. Forest green people. Forest green dye. And I'm going to get it everywhere. So. I sure don't have, I don't know if this is spruce. I thought, because it sure doesn't have the bird lines. Um, and you guys, you know, brushing it, brushing the bird, the, the bird marks is probably better because when you sand it, you, you take the ridge, the bird ridges away, right? So you can see there in my drill drill marks. So I'm just... I should have really... Re oh God, whatever. I just... I had enough of trees. I'm not trying to sound negative, guys, but if you've carved as many trees as I have this Christmas, you'd be sick of trees, too. I'm starting to carve trees before, I'm starting to carve pumpkins in August, okay? Next year. It's a nice green color though. So you make sure, so you can see there where I drilled it, that wood popped out, but guess what? I don't really care. You 
speaker. You know, because you can't, like, you got to figure out how much you're going to be able to charge for these things. Well, if this thing turns out, well, only the rich are going to be able to buy these ones. <laughs> Keep promising myself no more trees. Guys, I got a job too. I gotta get back to work. Okay, so let me finish this tree here, okay? You can see what's going on there. I don't even know if you're supposed to let this die sit on there. Okay, that's what's happening. Pardon me. See, that's where the wood the wood ripped from when I drilled it. But I don't care. Ah, okay, I'll finish this. Here is the official dyed Christmas tree. It's a big sucker. Let's get a better visual of that. It looks darker on camera, guys. It's not that dark, but this was the darkest one too. So I'm gonna stain up another one now. Maybe I'll put some uh, white on the tips here so it looks like it's a snow tree. Ha, <laughs> snow tree. Okay, so. I showed you guys the first tree that I stained. Pretty happy with it. It's going to be a friggin' nightmare to get the lights through here, though, because they're so... Uh, anyways, that's another matter. But you can see where the drill ripped the wood. Let's see here, like there. Before it was bright green. But I just painted in there black with the special carbon fusion paint tray. Oh, yeah. So I'll just paint in, like, uh, you'll see these cracks. Let's paint that black first. Okay, I'll just do that. And I'm going to dye this one green too. Okay, so here's number two. This one's a lot lighter here. Um, I'm thinking this is a different type of wood than the wood spirit because it's just, the grain's not as bumpy. I know this is, I did a lot of sanding on this, but the grain isn't more, isn't rigid like the wood spirit that I did yesterday. I don't care. Not ready. This one's a lot brighter. Set. Go. Yeah, this is different wood. I don't really even know if this is spruce or not. Maybe this is pine. Because uh, the grain's a lot different than the wood spirit I did yesterday. Uh-oh. Don't want to get any green on here. Because the tree shoppers won't be happy. Okay, so I'll get this finished and then uh, see what it looks like. Not ready. This one's a lot brighter. Set. Go. Yeah, this is different wood. I don't really even know if this is spruce or not. Maybe this is pine. Because uh, the grain's a lot different than the wood spirit I did yesterday. Uh-oh. Don't want to get any green on here. Because the tree shoppers won't be happy. Okay, so I'll get this finished and then uh, see what it looks like. Okay, here. so here's the second one. Okay. So I want to show you guys the wood spirit that I did yesterday too. 
So you can see this grain pops quite a bit. Okay? I don't know if you can see it, but it's 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 bumpy right here. Okay? This is smooth. So either I sanded it too much or it's a different, completely different type of wood. I'm thinking, I thought it was spruce, but I really didn't look at the sign from this pile. The pile next to me said spruce, but I'm thinking this stuff's pine. I can feel a like a dent there, like right, this thing here. I can feel a dent there, but here it's pretty smooth. So either I sanded it too much or I don't know. Whatever. It is what it is. Okay, so for the next one, for the next tree, I'm, I made this dye. I put a lot more green in here and I made it a lot darker. So let's see how that works. I'm not complaining. I'm not saying I love it, but I'm not saying I hate it either. I'll be able to sell these no problem. If I put some little white caps around here like snow trees, <laughs> no sweat. Okay, guys, I know I'm babbling here, but, um, you know, this, uh, what was I going to say? This, there's different factors here, okay? I thought I was both buying spruce, but this is from a Rona store. This stuff, you can see it's bumpy here. And this is from Home Depot. So it could be a total different, you know, a total different tree from a total different area. It's all, it's all different. I can feel little ridges in here, but nothing like this one. Like you can see the ridges in there in here so and this is a lot softer so you know there's lots of different vari variables you just it's just trial and error guys you know like as long as you're having fun doing it then go for it really you know like who cares I don't know but you can I, I wish you guys could see the bumps in here like let's see if we can see a side view of this but you can you can see it you know what I mean watch my finger bump 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 okay maybe do this yeah so this and you guys I did this with my small flap sander yesterday like with 240 grit okay I did this one with a little one 240 grit and I did this one with the big one 240 grit so I think this is just this 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 tree came from a different area and it's a harder wood two different stores guys or this is spruce and this is pine I don't know I just don't know like I said I am um, I'm just gonna put this here so I can figure it out so the dye doesn't run onto here so like I said I made this dye darker Oh, it's darker already. It's darker. And you guys don't forget too when you're done when you're done these, let me make sure this is recording. Yeah, it is. When you're done these, you can sand them too to make them look antiques. You know, you can scuff them up. So there's lots of different things you can do. Well, that, that might be a little bit too dark. Oh well. Yeah, it's pretty dark all right but that's okay I'm gonna uh, continue okay so here's a third one I think it's just wetter in here that's all it's just wet wetter here so there's a third one I don't know if these ones should have Christmas lights on them or just have the clear lights you know like you got Christmas lights ones like this 
or you got the clear ones like this too so i don't know these ones are 40 there's 40 lights in a set three bucks and these ones uh are two bucks but there's only 20 20 lights i got 20 holes drilled in each one okay anyways i'm babbling so um now what i'm going to do is i'm going to get some white paint and i'm just going to dab little snow things on the edge we'll see if that makes it pop a bit okay from when i used to do painting i was always trying to learn new stuff but this is i uh, i think i remember how to do it so i got this foam tip i kind of picked the end away you see that so it's all not all the same come on zoom in anyways you can see that and i got a white tray so i'm just going to dab this on here a bit okay and then I'm just going to pretend this is a tree. Well, that's... i got to make it better than that because it looks too square. But yeah, you do that along the edge if it doesn't look so friggin' square. Okay, i got to make something more rounder. So, But you get the idea. And that will go all the way around here. Like, yeah, I just got to make it not so square. Okay, so there you go. I just tore it off and I, I folded it over. So let's try this. There you go. Okay. Little piece of foam. You can buy it too, but you guys save money. Do it yourself. You can buy the foam that's all different patterns and use it, but I just folded this piece. Just rip it in half, folded it over. And there you go. So let's, uh, let's try and hit the little snowflakes on the end of these trees. Okay, so you guys remember this dye, this dye that I use is water-based. Okay, sorry I didn't say that at the beginning. And this paint is water-based too, so let's try her out. Okay. Uh, this can make or break your piece, I think. Just a little bit. Just like it's a frost. Be a bit up the sides. I don't want to sound like Rob Ross. <laughs> so just move it around. You don't need much, just to kind of give people the idea, you know. Guys, it's all in my opinion too. Some people might be shaking their heads right, right now, going, "What is he doing?" Well, the bottom line is, this is what I'm doing. And, whatever. And the white is starting to go green. Because the dye's bleeding into it. That's okay. I think that worked out all right. What do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this so far, guys. Like the ripple effects, I can feel it there. It's bumpy, but I don't know. It's nothing like the one I did yesterday. So I'm going to put this up and uh, take a look at it and see what I think. Well, I think it's pretty okay. Eh? I don't know if I want to put Christmas lights. Well, yeah, they got to have Christmas lights if they got the weight around them. It's Christmas time. So, yeah, I'll put Christmas lights in these. Ah, uh, Christmas lights, Christmas lights, all oh, Christmas lights. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with uh, putting the white in there. 
the silly little Christmas trees. Gives it the snow effect, right? And you can see some spots where the well, it's not as bright as it, as it was. The green bled through, like right there. But who cares? Who really cares? Okay, so I don't know that that one and that one's my favorite, not that one. So, anyways, I don't care. I'm doing the other one red. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Next one, I'm dying red. Okay, so this one, I wanted to make it red, but then I made I made the red too dark. Ah, man. I made the red too dark, so I tried to lighten it up. And what happened was I mixed the green with the red, and that's the color that I got. So whatever. I don't care. This is the worst tree anyways. I'm just keeping it for myself. So now I guess I'll have the pleasure of gluing the lights in. Oh man, that's the part, that's the, that's the most boring part of making these trees, is gluing the lights in. Jeez. Hey uh, babe, you ever play Connect the Dots? No. What is it? What do you mean, what is it? Let's connect the dots. Shut up and get out! Oh. Okay, so there you go. Um, this tree, what, what do they say in the new generation? Epic fail. It looks like a friggin' cookie tree. It didn't go red. I mixed up the... Um, the green and the red dies by accident and it went brown so am i happy with these trees yeah i don't mind them at all actually i'm not happy with the way the burn thing went but that's okay you can't win them all guys you know what i mean these trees are a lot bigger than the other trees that i've made okay these trees here will be double the price of the other ones that i made and if people don't like them, well, guess what? They're, uh, well, the one on the left there, the, the Charlie Brown tree or whatever kind of tree it is, that's not double the price. But these two, I still got one more to put the lights in, guys. It took a long time to put these lights in. I want to show you what I had to do. These light strings, there's only 20 light in each tree. But I had to stretch them out and bypass lights, so I had to tape them up and glue them down. Anybody that's done these trees, and like I should have painted this black first. But I'm just trying to get this video done. And see I put a screw in the back here too. I pre-drilled it and I put a screw so they can take the screw out at the end of the year and uh, put this away. You know, good for better storage. But, um, I don't know. I'm happy with these two. This one, chocolate chip, chocolate chip tree. There's only a little bit of red in there because I did red in the bottom. I'm like, oh, this is going on too dark. So then I, I, I want to, oh, it's going on too light. So then I tried to make it darker. But when I tried to make it darker, I mixed it with the green and it made brown. Okay, that's a poo tree. This one is, I wanted to be, put clear lights in there and I want it to be a Satan tree. But no, what it is, is it's a poo tree with M&Ms in it. Okay, so I'm gonna take these downstairs and I'm gonna put them against the wall compared to the other ones that I make. This, this was two by 12, guys. I think it was probably pine. But yeah, so I'm gonna set them up against the other ones that I got left and I'll show you guys. Okay, here I am sitting on my kitchen floor. Here's a chainsaw carved tree, no lights, no nothing. Okay, just carve it, burn it. There's the chocolate chip cookie, M&M cookie tree or poo tree, whatever you wanna call it. There's one of the trees I just glued. Those are my normal size trees, guys. Those are the fence board trees. Those are 18 to 24 inches, okay? These are 12 inches by 28 inches. Okay, there's another one I just did today. Much easier to do ones like this, or like this. Put the lights in these, way too much work, and 
after I burnt it and all that stuff, I should have just made these like this. But I was experimenting. And here comes Lee for the chocolate chip cookie tree. Nope. Where are you going? Anyways, guys, just, uh, I don't know. I'm going to post these on sale, for sale on Facebook now, and I'm, they'll probably be gone in two days. And if people don't want to pay the bigger money for these ones, for this one, and this one, well, guess what? I'll friggin' burn them. Okay. I've made about 60 trees now. They've almost all sold and that's about it for me. The happy family with the poo tree. Hope everybody's good. Love to, love to uh, read the comments down below. Hey. Camera shy. How are we going to learn if we don't try, guys? How are we going to learn if we don't try? Got to keep trying. Keep at it.